Hello there, my little cucumbers, and welcome back to a new episode of Cucumbers World of Tanks Beginner Guide. Since you guys like the first episode of my beginner guide, I decided to continue the series with another episode. This time, we are going to take a look at consumables in World of Tanks. Besides your tank crew, consumables are one of the most important aspects to your vehicle and should never be overlooked. The three consumables you bring into action can be all that stands between you and defeat. They can help get you back in the fight. If your tank is immobilized, restore members of your crew to operational condition, or help put out fires before they severely damage your vehicle. There are two types of consumables, standard consumables and premium consumables. Let's take a look at all of the options you have available. For standard consumables you have, small repair kit, small first aid kit, manual fire extinguisher, 100 octane gasoline, lend lease oil slash quality oil, and remove speed governor. Standard consumables are cheaper to cost from 3000 to 5000 credits when used in battle. For premium consumables you have, large repair kit, large first aid kit, automatic fire extinguisher, 105 octane gasoline, and premium nation specific food consumables. Premium consumables are rather expensive pricing at 20,000 credits for each unit. This is at least 4 times as much as standard consumables cost. As you can see there is a premium edition counterpart to almost every standard consumable. Therefore to understand the difference between standard and premium consumables it does make sense to compare those counterparts directly. Before going for recommendations and how to equip consumables and use them in battle, we will have a look at pure stats of the most important consumables. Let's start with repair kit. You have the choice between a small repair kit as standard, and a large repair kit as a premium consumable. A small repair kit repairs a single damaged module on your vehicle. For example if your tracks get destroyed in battle, you can use your repair kit to instantly repair your track. You might ask yourself, what happens when my track and my engine get destroyed at the same time? In this kind of situation the premium consumable gives you an advantage over the standard consumable. A large repair kit, when used, repairs all damaged modules at once. Furthermore it passively adds 10% to crew's repair ability. So as you can see, not only will this serve to repair damaged modules, but just having it equipped will boost your crew's ability to fix up your vehicle in the field faster. Next consumable is first aid kit. You have the choice between a small first aid kit as standard, and a large first aid kit as a premium consumable. A small first aid kit heals a single injured crew member. For example if your commander gets injured by an enemy shot to the turret, you can instantly restore him to operational status, so vehicle performance won't suffer. But what happens if two crew members get knocked out at once for example by an enemy artillery? Same as the large repair kit, in this kind of situation the premium consumable gives you an advantage over the standard consumable. The large first aid kit heals all your injured crew members at once. Furthermore it passively adds 30% bonus protection to crew from critical damage, so your crew is less likely to get injured. Furthermore, the first aid kit can remove a stun from enemy artillery. However the stun mechanic is only of importance from tier 6 upwards, so I won't cover it in this beginner guide. If you are interested anyway to learn more about that, I will leave a link in the description. The third consumable comes in handy when your tank is set on fire. You have the choice between a manual fire extinguisher as standard and an automatic fire extinguisher as premium consumable. While a manual fire extinguisher puts out a fire when manually activated, the premium consumable automatically extinguishes a fire. This comes in handy when you are already low on hit points and would not be quick enough to react and manually activate the extinguisher without burning to death. In addition, just having it equipped reduces fire chance by 10%. Those three consumable types are the most important consumables. Every beginner and veteran should prioritize to equip these in almost every single tank. 100 octane gasoline, lend lease oil slash quality oil, remove speed governor, and 105 octane gasoline do have a slight effect on your engine's power and slightly improve your tank's mobility. But, in 99% of the cases, those consumables are not worth picking over the three consumables mentioned above. Therefore I won't mention their benefits in detail. 
I will put a link down in the description, where you can get more detailed information about all consumables. Another thing that comes in handy is premium nation specific food consumables. A premium food consumable provides an additional 10% to all crew skills for an entire battle, which will increase the overall performance of the vehicle like mobility, firepower, concealment and view range. Now, to equip consumables you select a tank and click on service. You have 3 slots to fill. Let's recall, the most useful consumables are, repair kit, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, and premium food consumables. For beginners, especially if you don't have any premium tank, or a lot of credits to spend. I recommend going with the following, a manual fire extinguisher, a small repair kit, and a small first aid kit. Once you do, have a little more credits, I recommend switching a manual fire extinguisher to an automatic one. You only need to pay for a consumable, when you use it. You will most likely use repair and first aid kits every battle, but won't burn every time. If you do, you won't have to worry about manually saving yourself from severe damage. Premium food can be swapped for an fire extinguisher but this is not really a profitable choice, especially in lower tiers and for beginners. When you are good on credits and more experienced into the game, you can of course use premium food to max out your vehicle's characteristics. It just doesn't make sense all the time lol. So how to use consumables in battle? While your ammo choices can be selected with the buttons 1 to 3 on your keyboard, consumables can be chosen using the keys 4 to 6 on default. You can modify the keys, if you want to in the settings. If a module is damaged, you press the assigned key of the consumable slot and press the number of the module or crew member you want to repair or heal. For large first aid and repair kits you just have to press the number of the consumable slot to repair or heal all modules or crew members with one click. Once you used a consumable you have to wait 90 seconds, as indicated by the timer, until you can use the consumable again. So to quickly sum this up, repair kit, first aid kit, and fire extinguisher are the most important consumables. Premium consumables are way more expensive than their standard counterparts, but will bring you significant advantages. So should you pick premium over standard consumables? Not necessarily. It pretty much depends on your balance. If you have enough credits on your bank account or drive tanks that get more than one module or crew member destroyed or injured with one shot frequently, it does make sense to equip premium consumables. Another tip, try to save credits and buy consumables when they are discounted in the shop for certain specials. This will save you a lot of credits over time. If you consider this episode to be useful, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like that, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below what you want to see next. Let me know if I forgot about something and we can discuss it down below. See you soon for the next one. Cucumber out. K thanks bye.